Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another iOS 18 video and this update is just amazing. It has a ton of new features and we're just discovering new features every minute here. Now in today's video, I will show you guys some of the best tips and tricks for your iOS 18 device. Before I get into all that, just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys who watch my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you enjoy the videos, you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button it really helps out a lot and now we're starting things off with the control center if you have seen my previous video you probably know that the flashlight has actually a new ui now you can swipe here up or down to turn the intensity of the flashlight up or down but you can also change the focus of the flashlight and you can do that by swiping sideways like this so you can see how cool that is Wherever you need to have the focus of your flashlight, you can just swipe like this and it's done. Now, when you go to the new settings app of iOS 18, you will find a pretty cool new feature under the battery section. So you go to battery and then go to charging right here. And we have the charge limit. Previously on iOS 17, you had the ability to turn the charge limit to 80% and that's it. But now with iOS 18, you will be able to actually choose that charge limit. So you will have the option from 80% to 100% in 5% increments. So you can choose where you want your charging limit to be. You can see right here, keep the charge limit below 100%, helps preserve the battery lifespan over time. You can go ahead, set it here or change it anytime you want. Now, a pretty cool new feature that Apple has added with iOS 18 is called a vocal shortcuts. You can find it here under accessibility. So you go here, scroll down, and you will find here vocal shortcuts. Set up vocal shortcuts and then tap on continue. And here's what you can do. Things like opening an app or basically anything you want. So you can see right here, lock rotation, lock screen all that stuff so let's just choose lock rotation enter the command here let's just do lock tap on go lock 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 and then here just tap on continue and this is how you do it now if i want to lock the rotation all i have to do is say lock just like that, my device will lock the rotation on the iPhone. Now with iOS 18, Apple has added a feature that has been requested for a really, really long time. Scheduled messages. You can finally schedule a message. You simply add the message here, then tap the plus button and tap on send later and pick the date and time. Now right here, if I just go ahead and send a scheduled messages, a scheduled message it will be displayed like this so you can see right here it says send later tomorrow 10 a.m but what you can do is tap the edit button and you can choose to send the message right away or you can just tap edit time and now you can pick another time when you want to send that message now with a new control center apple has added ability to actually customize the control center any way you like. Now, one of the coolest things here is that you can actually resize the toggles that you have on the control center. So if I just go ahead and go to the edit mode right here, you can see these grabbers, which allow me to actually resize these like toggles that I have here. I can of course rearrange them or just pick here and drag it. And then I can just go ahead and resize them as easy as this so let's just try this one i can resize that i can go here to the music controls i can make this smaller if i want to make it a bit smaller or even more smaller than that simply of course this is still a bit buggy but again you get the idea here probably it will be much much better with the next beta updates but you can just go ahead and resize them any way you need now with the new calculator app we have a much needed feature the ability to view the history of the calculations that you have done you tap right here on this menu and you will have the history 
of the calculations. Now this is pretty cool. You can edit these of course if you want to delete any of them or delete all of them or you can just go ahead and right there copy it. It will bring it back to the calculator or tap and hold and it will be able to actually copy the result or the expression right there or you can individually remove it from the history. Now here's another pretty cool feature that I really like on iOS 18. When you go to edit one of your photos, you, what you can do here is actually choose the view that you want to have when editing the photo. It doesn't matter whether you're on the dark mode or on the light mode, you can tap the three dots right there and what you can do here is actually choose how you want to edit the photo. If I tap the three dots, I can go ahead and go to appearance and choose maybe a light mode. Even though my device is on dark mode, maybe I like this better and I can just go ahead and edit the photo on the light mode. Now with iOS 18, Apple has added a new stock app called Passwords. Now this is an amazing app and as you know, when Apple does something, they do the best. And they have a new Passwords app which allows you to have all the passwords saved in one place. You will have your codes sent for different websites, maybe your logins, you will have your passwords, your Wi-Fi passwords, they're all saved in one place. Now what's really cool with the Wi-Fi passwords is that Wi-Fi passwords that you have saved will have the ability to generate a QR code. So if you wanna share this with someone, just tap on show QR and that's it. You can share any of your saved passwords using a QR code. And last but not least, we're moving to the health app. Now on the health app, if you edit the health like metrics that you have here, you can finally rearrange them. So you can add, of course, your pinned ones right there, but now you also have the ability to rearrange them any way you like. So that's pretty cool. Just go ahead, rearrange and see your favorite ones at the top of the health app. So these are some of the newest features of iOS 18. Of course, a few different tips and tricks on how you can actually use them and how to get the best out of your iOS 18 device. Now, overall, I'm very satisfied with this update. It is pretty cool, even though it's still early, it's just beta one, the first days of beta one, we will see a ton of new features coming out for iOS 18 during the summer. And of course, later on, we will also see the new AI features, which look amazing and probably will take the iPhone to another level. Now, the main like bad thing about that is that the older devices won't be getting those features, but again, things will move fast and in a couple of years, probably most of people will have devices that do actually support the new Apple intelligence features, which look amazing. But for now, this is what we got with iOS 18 and I have to say I'm really satisfied with this update. So that's basically it. Thank you guys for watching the videos. If you want to see more videos on iOS 18 and all the cool new features, make sure to subscribe, leave a like on this one, and I'll see you on the next video.